Hi, I'm Vic and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. As you can see, thank you Kanye, we are on our way to a glorious New Zealand summer. Uh, bugger this, let's go somewhere warm. Hmm, nope, it's still raining in Melbourne, let's go a bit further. <laughs> yep, still raining in Bali. Oh yeah. Oh. Hey Tamara, yeah. give us an intro to our pad in Bali. That way. Okay, I'll follow you. We got a sun deck, which is great use right now in this thunderstorm. Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, if you see a two foot long lizard run across our path, don't be at all surprised. I don't have a key. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I stand up. I'm moving. In, um, yeah. There's a story behind that. See you guys. Bye. 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 And here's our pad. I think we'll tidy up first. There's our hotel. We walk around here into the jungle and you encounter the infamous Bali 220 volt anacondas. They have a very avant-garde approach to wiring. There's the supermarket, they have durian in there, I might come back and get one. And here is more anaconda. Some of them, like, where are we, that one, um, actually come startlingly close to the ground. Uh, like down here and could be mistaken for a handrail. Every so often on the road you'll find one of these curious little shrines. Um, yeah, presumably best wishes so that you don't actually get run over on the road because they have a quick and the dead approach to road traffic management. Here we have traffic management in action, which is done by the local security guards of the biggest building, uh, waving red flags and batons around. Notice how much attention they pay to the zebra crossing. Uh, so this is a fabulous bamboo structure, which I will show you more of later, where the main event stuff is. And this is sort of like notionally the Jimbaran hub. Uh, which is like a cafe and small conference center. It's way too small for the job, but they sell beer in there. So uh, that's where we're going. So Vic, would you like to explain your, your creation here? Yeah, this is designed to keep flies off of the food. As, as you can see, some uh, training in uh, Skill of control is um, necessary. Every so often the bottle makes a bid for it. Yeah, I know. Maybe we ought to get a full one. This is a great example of how we can throw something together quickly in the fab lab. The little orange fly scaring tassel is attached to one servo, which rocks backwards and forwards, and um, that's strapped straight to the, uh, what they call the horn, of the other servo. 
and that allows this thing to move anywhere in half a hemisphere. And these are on three pin plugs. And these three pin plugs plug into the power and ground and signal pins on this wonderful little Arduino breakout board. And we do the same thing with um, joysticks, switches, sensors, or anything we like. So we can throw together a circuit without having to use any soldering at all. Then we can plug the Arduino into a mobile phone running the Arduino Droid application, which is in the Google Play Store, and uh, with a uh, ordinary USB programming lead with an OTG connector on it which just plugs into the bottom of the phone and then that connects into the board and then when I get the connector the right way around, there we go and that allows us to uh, power and or program the device that we're working on. And if you'd like to build one of these things yourselves um, go to GitHub where you can find it as Byfly, B-Y-E-F-L-Y. But for now, that's your Thank you.